you feeling, gentlemen? Pretty excited is going to be the word of the day, I think. It's um, obviously still coming down and recovering from what was such a thrilling game on Friday night, but um, you know we're so excited for Saturday. It's what you play for, and um, for a proud club, we've got some crazy passionate fans who are pretty excited to see us take the field on Saturday. So we're uh, we're keen to get out there and do them proud. Now, so you obviously can speak to a lot of people that know about this week and can give you some insight, but you can already see this morning with media, there's family here, there's so much on this week, the ground line tomorrow night, for example. How do you guys recalibrate off the back of Friday night and sort of seek yourself for the, for the big opportunity now? Yeah, I think really the key for us is to enjoy it and embrace it. It's a big week. It's a massive week in Melbourne, you know, the city's footy mad and it's all about grand final week. So um, we'd be stupid to try and avoid it or hide away from it. So um, the key is just to embrace it, like you said. There's so many important events and, you know, we spent the morning mostly talking about logistics, how we're going to get from A to B around this city when, um, you know, everyone's going mad for football. So it's, uh, it's exciting really and not something we're going to hide away from and uh, I think we're really well prepared to deal with that as well. You know who you're playing now, so just get your thoughts go through all of your stuff with you, Dust, on, on playing the Lions in that matchup. Yeah, look, they're a formidable team, aren't they? They've finished second on the ladder and um, they've beaten us twice this season, so, you know, they're a, they're a really worthy challenger and they've got some stars all down their, down their lineup, so we've got our work cut out for us and um, we're just looking forward to competing against the best. Nick? Yeah, similar to what Dust said, they've got star players um, all across the field, so no doubt we'll have to bring our A game, but. I think it'll be a great challenge, um, hopefully a great spectacle for everyone else. Josh? Yeah, exactly the same. I'm sure a lot of their fans will come down um, in full force and um, likewise for us. They've been amazing for us this season and yeah, can't wait to see the G painted black and white on Saturday Arvo. Nick, can you think back to this time last year, I you all remember the emotion on your face after that, the prelim and, and now you're on the other side of a one point win and through a grand final. Yeah, pretty shattered last year I think as a group. We got so close obviously, um, it was pretty devastating to go out in the prelim by one point. Um, and then yeah, on the flip side this year to win by points, it's pretty amazing go through to the first grand final um, for myself and, and for this playing group together. Very exciting, so we put a lot of work in in the off season. Um, we probably took a lot of that pain from the prelim and that drove us. And, um, yeah, we're in a great position now. There was a shot of you after the game just consoling Toby Green. Was, can you tell us what, what you told him? Or, yeah. yeah, pretty similar as you just touched on. I sort of I felt his emotions last year in the prelim when we lost by a point, so I could relate to what he's going through. I think I'm a pretty empathetic person um, and felt for him. He's a star player, gave it his all. You see how much it means to him. And, um, yeah, sort of couldn't help but give him a cuddle and just check in on him. How did the body feel Friday night getting back into it after a couple of months? Yeah, good. Um, felt good. It was nice to come on after we kicked a couple of goals. Always gave me a little bit more confidence, um, a bit more confidence. And um, the boys were great out there just communicating to me, letting me know where I needed to be at, at certain times in the game. And um, yeah. I know I've got their support, so that's amazing. Was there an element of being to work back into the game and you know, how you could for the run and it sets you up well for the grand final? Yeah, I think so. It was nice to um, get a game under the belt going into the grand final, just a bit of confidence, get, bit, get a bit of that match fitness back too. I played um, the whole last quarter and was pretty pretty tired, as a lot of the boys were. So um, definitely, I think I'll be better for the run and I'm excited for Saturday. Do you think you'll be better for the run as well? I think you played only two games for the best part of six weeks with the injury as well. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, I had that um, injury late in the season, so I had a pretty heavy training block coming into the finals. So it feels super fresh, and um, you know, to play in two massive finals in a month is pretty extraordinary. So um, yeah, I'm keen and just excited to back it up on Saturday. Nick, uh, Josh Dunkley, you have a job on Patrick Fitz yesterday. Do you think you'll get tagged, and if so, how will you prepare for I have no idea. I'm pretty focused on um, how we can approach it as a team. I'll try and bring my A game too. I can play a variety of positions, um, so I'll test him out that way um, if Josh comes to me. But we've got so many players in form that I don't think I'll be the only one that I'll be targeting. I think we've got a, a number of players that will step up on Saturday, so I'm very excited. What's it like having the, the Peters here with you? I mean, obviously, Pies fans love it. Um, but what's it like having that sort of father-son connection? You guys obviously have talked about it a lot, but you've got Darcy in you too, Josh. Yeah, it's amazing. Obviously, it means so much for them. It's been a huge part of our football journey, and then obviously passionate pies, uh, supporters for so many years. So, um, 
yeah, they've been riding the roller coaster with us for so many years now. It's amazing to see um, the reward for them as well, and I'm sure they'll be uh, really nervous come Saturday. What did they say after you, you made it and you got through the prelim? Dad was pretty speechless. I think he was just ecstatic. I think uh, we don't make it easy for our fathers watching us play, so <laughs> that's for sure. And um, they were both just so proud of us, and um, obviously Pete as well for Darcy. So um, yeah, we look forward to making them proud come Saturday. Darcy, Dad, in the past has spoken about being miserable in the grand final day, having played through those four losing ones, came stick through his runners up, met a lot of the crowd. So what's it like for you being able to represent him on, on, on grand final day and hopefully be able to go one better? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty unique, isn't it? He's um, yeah, played in five grand finals and lost four of them and won one and uh, I mean sorry drawn one um, and uh, like you said tossed his runners up medal into the crowd um, not his finest moment <laughs> um, but uh, yeah look it's it's extraordinary he always speaks about you know that's what you play footy for is to play in the big games and to stand up in the big moments and um, you know I've felt that way as well my whole career it's you know finals is, is the most exciting time and um, it's my first grand final and um, you know, I'll be drawing on as much of his experience as I can, but at the end of the day, you know, we're an informed team, we've had a great season, we've been so consistent and um, we rely on each other so much and we're ready for this and ready to play our best footy on uh, Saturday Arbo. Darcy, you just asked about Taylor Adams, as a captain, what's the best way you can support him to, to make sure he can have the best Yeah, it's, it's obviously such a difficult situation with Taylor, isn't it, injuring his, his hamstring a few weeks ago, he is the heart and soul of our team, you know, he trains so hard, he's super professional, he's just so dedicated, such a passionate teammate. And, um, you know, we really rely on those things on the field as well as off. So, um, since he injured himself, to be honest, mate, he's been amazing, he's been so positive, and such a bubbly teammate supporting us. He was there at half time, chewing my ear off, telling me what we had to do, um, which is just great. You know, he's so invested, and, um, you know, I'm praying that. You know, he can get a couple of good training sessions in and put his hand up to, to run out there because no one deserves it more than him because he's, uh, yeah, he puts in hard work. How did he cover the loss of the top down? Sorry? So how did he cover the loss of the down? Yeah, Dan's another one as well, another really hard luck story. He had a great game on Friday night as well. His sticky mitts were really important for us in the game. He kept us in it in a few stages. So, um, you know, we, we can't replace him. We're just going to have to find someone to to come in and, and play to their strengths and do their role and I think that's been a real challenge this year for us but it's been something we've learned a lot and it's brought us closer as a team so we're going to have to do our best and um, I'm glad it's not my job to sit in the maths committee and try and pick someone to replace him. Just on, on, on Taylor, in 2018 did you have a hand in you were sort of rehabbing trying to get back can you, can you sort of relate to how he might be feeling in any way? Yeah totally I mean I I'm, um, I experienced missing out on the 2018 final series, which was such an exciting one for the club. And, um, that was really hard to deal with. It was something personally that you know took a long time to get over and, uh, and move on with my career. So um, yeah, I've got that experience. But um, yeah, Tay's a bit older and a bit more mature than I was, so he's got the tools to handle it. And, uh, you know, like I said, he's already been an amazing teammate in the last few weeks, so I'm sure that'll continue this week. Not that you need added motivation to us, but just missing a grand final in those circumstances and seeing the result give you extra motivation this week? Yeah, I don't know if it's motivation. I think it's more of a, uh, it's nice to sort of uh, reflect on and be able to enjoy it, because I know how hard it is to be there on the last day in September and run out. It's, um, you know, I missed out in 2018 through injury and that was heartbreaking. So I think I'll be maybe just a little bit more grateful and a little bit more uh, excited and able to take in how special it is to run out there. Well, it's just on a Monday night. Um, obviously, Nick's got a big chance in the ground. Like, what, are you, what are your thoughts on his chances? And after that, Nick, what are you, what's your thoughts going into it? Yeah, it's super exciting, obviously, for Nick. And um, yeah, we're so proud of the season he's had. Yeah, but you're not without a chance either. <laughs> but it's, um, you know, it'll definitely make our night a little bit longer. Obviously, we'd love to get into bed nice and early, but we'll be, uh, yeah. yeah, hopefully Nick can, um, he's done enough before he got injured. So we're looking forward to enjoying the night and hopefully cheering Nick home. How many votes do you need to be ahead after round one? I have no idea. So that's your job to tell me. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? Uh, to be honest, I, I really haven't thought about it. Tommy Mitchell asked me before how I'm feeling, because um, obviously he can sort of relate to it. And I've been so focused on getting back and, and on my knee, and that sort of consumed me so much during the finals. And now I'm back, we're through to a grand final. Like all my eyes um, and focus is set on how I can best prepare for Saturday. Um, there might be a little bit of nerves tomorrow going and, and actually being there with all the players and experiencing it all, but 
Um, I'm sure as soon as it's done, I'll be ready to prepare for Saturday anyway.